The Minnesota Superior Civilian Service Award is being awarded to Ms. Kristen Weber. When a service member serves our great nation, it is not only the person who wears the uniform who serves, but the family as well. At this time, General Dempsey will present Chris Weber with a token of appreciation for her service to our state and nation. Attention to orders. The Minnesota Superior, Superior Civilian Service Award is presented to Ms. Kristen K. Weber. This award formally declares that without your tireless work and unyielding dedication, marked exceptional contributions to Minnesota, the U.S. Army, and our nation would not have been possible. The strength, courage, and commitment you have demonstrated over the past 18 years represents a stern example of the qualities we value most in our military family members. And it also reflects great credit upon you, your family, the Minnesota National Guard, the United States Army, and the United States of America. It is our privilege to recognize Lieutenant Colonel Weber for his outstanding volunteer service. The Military Outstanding Volunteer Service Medal recognizes those members of the military who perform substantial volunteer service to a local community above and beyond the duties required as a member of the United States Armed Forces. Attention to orders. The Military Outstanding Volunteer Service Medal is awarded to Lieutenant Colonel Mark M. Weber for outstanding volunteer service during the period of July 2009 through February 2012. Lieutenant Colonel Weber's extensive volunteer activities directly benefit Minnesota communities and embody the spirit of a citizen soldier. His personal contributions, in spite of extreme physical adversity, are an inspiration for all to behold. Lieutenant Colonel Weber's actions are in keeping with the highest traditions of military service and reflect great credit upon himself, Joint Force Headquarters Minnesota, and Minnesota Army National Guard. Signed, Richard C. Nash, Major General, the Adjutant General, Minnesota National Guard. It is our privilege to recognize Lieutenant Colonel Weber for his many contributions by presenting him with the Legion of Merit. The Legion of Merit is a distinguished award and is presented only to those individuals who have clearly demonstrated outstanding service to the armed forces and the nation. Attention to orders. The Legion of Merit is presented to Lieutenant Colonel Mark M. Weber for exceptional meritorious service in positions of increasing responsibilities throughout a distinguished career spanning more than 23 years. Your tireless efforts resulted in being hand-selected for multiple duties, which included personal staff to the Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, Military Assistant to the Iraqi Chief of Defense for De General Dempsey, and the first ever Director of Strategic Communications for the Minnesota National Guard. Your steadfast dedication to duty and exceptional performance are in keeping with the finest traditions of military service and reflect great credit upon yourself, the Minnesota Army National Guard, and the United States Army. Signed, William E. Ingram, Jr., Lieutenant General, Director, Army National Guard. Thank you, Kristen, Matthew, Joshua, Noah. You may return to your seats. Sit down. <laughs> <laughs> Our 
All right, I'm going to try. <laughs> Sir, your words and your presence here today are too kind, way too kind. Uh, and I've honestly struggled with the words uh, that I could use to even come close to expressing the sentiment that I feel for you and honoring me and my family in this way. Uh, it honestly struck me this morning, I swear to God, uh, that I would say thanks in the way that an Iraqi Kurd from De Hook. <laughs> would say it, so you, you know me too well. Zur supas asbani, ave galaka basha, bu hautnata azur kephoshem, bu avro setcha vitmen se sediment, hota hafiz. Can you translate that book? I think what I said <laughs> is that I love you very much for doing this for me and that because of today, you will forever be, as the Kurds say, on my eyes and on my head. Either that, <laughs> or I said, what the hell are you doing here? <laughs> Your eyes and head look like a donkey. <laughs> in, in which case I would say, babura sat de. A thousand apologies. <laughs> now, it is wild enough having the 18th uh, Chief of Defense here to honor us. It becomes something else entirely, uh, having our nation's 10th Chief of Defense here as well, General Jack Vesey. In 1939, as you heard, this Minnesota legend and national treasure uh, enlisted in the Army in the Minnesota National Guard, our very own Red Bull Division, and served throughout the entire extent of World War II, receiving a battlefield commission on the beachhead at Anzio just before D-Day. He went on to serve on active duty in Korea and Vietnam, and eventually served as the 10th Chief of Defense under President Ronald Reagan. In September 1985, when General Vesey was hanging up his Class A uniform for the last time, I was a 14-year-old freshman at Creighton High School being fitted with my Class A uniform for the very first time. Um, the person who did that fitting, Master Sergeant Larry Smith, who's sitting right next to General Vesey. Uh, a highly decorated Vietnam veteran and after I got my uniform, I made my way to homeroom, and shortly thereafter, my first class in military leadership. And my instructor and homeroom teacher was Sergeant First Class Arnold Lindgren, who's sitting next to General Vesey as well. Um, an equally decorated Korean War vet. They both spent over 20 years in the, arm, in the Army and then went on to spend an additional 20 plus years teaching young cadets about Army values and military leadership. I stand in awe of these three larger than life men and their influence on my life and my Army career at its birth. They humble me and I hope that they humble all of us. And I'd like to give them a round of applause, please. <laughs> list of people responsible for getting me through five years of enlisted service and 18 years as a commissioned officer in the Army is simply too long to do any justice. It must suffice to express the words of Joseph Heller, an American author who gave us the book and the phrase, Catch-22. How did I get here? Somebody pushed me. Somebody must have set me in this direction. and clusters of other hands must have touched themselves to the controls at some time because I would not have picked this way for the world. Today then, I will focus on one and only one person.
a woman who has stood with me every step of the way for the past 18 years. My wife and my closest friend, Kristen. She is my hero. And her example is the reason that I have a hard time with people trying to call me a hero for some great occasion. Because to borrow a phrase, great occasions do not make heroes or cowards. They simply unveil them to the eyes of men. Slowly and imperceptibly, as we make our way through the routine of life, we grow weak or strong until it is a crisis that reveals what we have become. Kristen has moved our home and our family seven times. Countless days without a husband or a father to help run the home. She virtually shelved a hard-earned accounting degree and a CPA certificate to support the rigors of my army life. And let me tell you, when you're a Minnesotan and has to move to Alabama, you, you have got a bit of a crisis. <laughs> When we moved to Alabama, I got Fort McClellan in the Army. She got Anniston, Alabama, and you ain't from around here, are you? <laughs> and one noteworthy comment regarding the vast culture difference between Minnesota and Alabama when a woman told Kristen, I just love your British accent. <laughs> We are two fiercely independent spirits who have somehow managed to weather the storm of an army career about two years short of the official finish line. As we headed down the home stretch of that journey life gave us, her in particular, a whole new series of crises to tackle were put on the scene. A husband with stage four cancer and two young parents with cancer. True strength is about getting things done despite tears and external obstacles. And you, Kristen Coughlin, epitomize the definition of the word strength. By the soldier's standard for uncommon valor and bravery, under mind-crushing conditions, you are a hero in every sense of the word. This ceremony is a reflection of how we say thank you and farewell to soldiers and their families. But I don't care what anyone says, we don't deserve all of this. But then most people say I don't deserve cancer either and I can't argue with that, so we'll just call it <laughs> Thank you very much for coming today. <laughs>